I'm Linda from Barlatti's Body Blitz. Welcome to Target 20 Inner Thighs. For today's workout, all you will need is an exercise mat and I'm going to be using some one kilo ankle weights. So you don't want to go for anything that's too heavy because we will be doing some pretty full on targeted exercises for the inner thighs. So one kilo is just over two pounds. So if you have those ankle weights, just put them on and make sure they're nice and secure so that they don't slip around as we are lying down and laying on our side and doing all sorts of wonderful things. Now we're going to be doing 20 rounds of 60 seconds of work without any breaks in between. If you need to take a break at any point, please press pause and come back when you're ready. But if you can make it through each round, even if it means you have to take your ankle weights off or you slow it down a little bit or you have a micro break and then get straight back into it, the key is to try and push through because it's only a 20 minute workout, okay? There's not a designated warm up as such. So if you're in a particularly cold climate, maybe do the first few exercises without the ankle weights and then put them on when you're ready. You can press pause at any time to do that. So let's get started. We're going to lie ourselves down all the way and bring our legs up. So what I need you to do is turn your toes out. So you've got your knees facing you, now you're turning out as much as possible. And this is going to be our starting position. So I'm going to grab my timer, pressing start. And the first one is we're going to come out, in and up. Okay, so come down, out, in and back up down, out to the side, in, and back up in line. So my leg, the other leg, is just nice and straight up there. I'm trying to keep it level above my hip. I'm trying not to move it around too much, and up. So you're tapping behind the knee, and then you're coming all the way up, keeping your heels in line. Out, and up, down, out, and up. So you're trying to extend out to the side as low as you can because the lower you go, the tougher this will be. 18 seconds to go. The other uh, the arm here is just to stabilize you. Down, out, in, and up. 10 seconds to go. And you can already feel this burn, right? In and up. Three, two, and one. Now from here, I want you to come down and up keeping that leg turned out and the other one straight. If this is too tough for you, you have the option of bending the other leg down and just coming down and up. Or if that's still too tough, bend this leg and come down and up with a bent leg. But if you can, keep both legs straight, both legs turned out, so your knees are turned out and you're coming down and together. The top leg is gonna wanna move a little bit, that's okay. I just want you to focus on trying to stabilize as much as you can by pulling your belly button into your spine and trying just to move this front leg. 17 seconds to go, down and up. So that inner thigh is definitely starting to scream a little bit. It's very important to keep your leg turned out, okay? Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna sit up, bend that leg, and we're gonna start circling, but I want you to keep that leg super turned out and just draw a big circle. You're trying to keep your tummy in and you're anchoring yourself with the other leg. So the ankle weight actually helps here to anchor that other leg down. And try to keep your hips really level here and just rotating out. Large circle with that leg, out and out high up and wide. You want to bring that leg past the mat, okay? The bigger the circle, the more you're going to feel that inner thigh, and I'm sure you're aware of that. All the way around and around. Trying to make sure you're pushing out of your shoulder so you're not hunching here. 10 seconds to go. Around and around. Five, four, three, two, and one, now keep it level, come out and back in. It's out and back in. Once again, try to stabilize your hips here. I know it's hard, I know your hips wanna kind of move, but try to press your hands into the mat. And this leg at the back is gonna open up slightly to the back. And if this is too hard, bend your leg and kind of bring it up a little bit and in. 
but if you can, keep it as low as possible and sweep it out and in. So all of these exercises have got a little bit of lower tummy work in them as well, which is a bonus. Out and in, out and in. So really tough here, you can feel that, right? 18, 17, 15 seconds. Then we've got one more exercise in this grouping and we're repeating it on the other side. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop it for a second. If you wanna come all the way up, you can, otherwise stay down here, little raises. So keep that knee turned out, very important here. Make sure you're pushing out of the shoulders. Breathe, breathe, because this is tough. And tiny raises, up and up. Point that toe. This is the last little bit, and then we're switching. So, are you feeling the fire there? If you don't turn your knee out, it means you're using your quad instead of your inner thigh, okay? So you really need to keep that leg angled. So your knee's at 45 degrees. 25 seconds, the burn is real. Come on, you can do this. Then we're moving to the other side. Again, if you really can't, then maybe bend, tap and bend, tap and bend, okay? Try, try, 10 seconds. Just do something and don't stop. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm quickly gonna switch sides so it's easier for you to see my leg. So remember, both legs are up, turned out, it's down, out, in and up. Down, out to the front, in and up. So you're tapping behind the knee and then drawing that line back up. Down, out, in and up. Down, out, all the way to the front. Use your lower back pressed into that mat and your arms to help you anchor that move. The other leg is trying to stay nice and stable it will move slightly, but really try to draw that line up and down. Out, in and up, 15 seconds. The lower you open at the bottom, the more you're gonna feel that inner thigh. And up, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna just open and come back up. Open and come back up. Remember your options here. If you wanna bend that leg, you can bend the leg, but still open wide. Or if you want to, you can bend this front leg, come down to the side and up. But if you can, ideally I want both legs still turned out and straight. And really try to draw up using this inner thigh. It's all the way down and draw up, all the way up, 26 seconds. Push your hands into the mat. It will help you to really support yourself there. And try to push your lower back into the mat as well. Come on, 13, 12. You can do this, then we're up on the forearms. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So you're coming up on the forearms, and now we're gonna draw big circles around and around. So remember, you need to keep your leg turned out here and the wider you come to the front, the more you're gonna feel this in the inner thigh. So really get it to the front and back in, up to the side and back in. Big circle. Hold your tummy in and really try to push out of those shoulders. I don't want you down here slouching. I want you up with a long neck once you see the exercise, look in front of you. 28 seconds to go. Big circle around. Blowing up and out. Around and around. 17, 16. The bigger, the better. Come on, 12 seconds. You can do this. Keep that knee turned out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. Now we're sweeping to the side and in, to the side and in. So try to bring it wide out and then come back in line, side and in. So this is a tough one, okay? This is really tough. If you need to bend your leg, 
You can bring your knee out and across, out and across. Otherwise, try, try to keep your heel up, your knee turned out as much as possible and keep your belly pulled in to try and help you keep your hips stacked. I know it's hard to do that because naturally your hips want to turn to the front 20 seconds, but keep going. Out and in, try to stay on the same horizontal plane here. Out and in, 10 seconds to go. Breathe through it. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna give you a second rest. And then just raise up and down, tiny raises. Now, if your neck is getting sore, you can lie down or even cradle your head and you will still feel that in the inner thigh. But if you can stay up here, it's just more engaging and you will feel the inner thigh more. So remember, you still have to be turned out here as much as possible. Your hips are still to the front and you're trying to push out of those shoulders. 30 seconds and then we're gonna to change to the other leg. Remember your options, you can bend, tap your toe down and up like this, like a triangle, but this is where the work is. 19, 18, 17, 16. Come on, you're nearly done with this leg for the first grouping, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, back over. Now this time we're going to stay like this and we're just going to do a traditional raise. We're going to go 1, 2, and up. 1, 2, and up. So it's a pulse, pulse, and high. Pulse, pulse, and high. Pulsing in the middle and then high up. Pulse, pulse, and up. So your leg is kind of out to the corner of the mat and up. Tummies are in, chest is to the front, 30 seconds. Pulse, pulse, then higher. Middle, middle, and up. Once again, turn your heel up to the ceiling and your knee as far down as you can. <sighs> Blow out on the up. Pulse and higher. Pulse, pulse and higher. 10 seconds, up. Eight, seven, six, up. Five, four, three, up. Two and one. Now, tiny circles, keeping that leg up the entire time. Tiny circles. So the last one we did more front on and we did big circles. Now we're keeping it up higher. So when you touch here, it should be hard. Rock hard, you should feel that entire inner thigh muscle on fire. And then just tiny little circles, tiny, and it's kind of slightly angled, 36, 35. Come on, you can do this, 31. Keep breathing, make sure you're not slouching here. Hold your tummy in, it will help you to keep everything more stable. A few more, 20 seconds. Breathe through it. Come on, you can do this. I believe in you. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now we're going to go out, 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 come in. Out, 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 come in. Bend, extend three times and back in. Bend, extend three times and back in. Knee is down, heel is up. Out, 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 back in. Out, 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 back in. Out, 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 back in. Come on. Try to keep your leg up, out and in. When you extend, really flex straight behind the knee. Out, out, and in. Out, 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 and in. 23. <sighs> Bring it in. Those last few are really tough but you can do it. Out, 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 and in. That sweep in, hold your tummy in to help you get that leg back in. Seven, six, five, four. We're gonna change our leg positioning. Three, two, and one. So bring the other leg in front, really hug it in, and we're gonna flex our foot, turn our heel up, and raises. Just tiny ones. Now your range of motion here is gonna be a lot smaller if you want to. Come down here. Put your head in your hand, 
Try to keep the other leg out of the way. Flex it and try to turn your toe down just slightly, ever so slightly. I know it's a really restricted motion, but I promise you it's hitting those inner thigh muscles in a slightly different way. So come on, up. So I'm tapping down and back up, but I'm not resting my leg. There's a big difference, don't rest. 15, 14, come on, breathe through it. There's one more exercise after this, and then we're moving on to the other side, and then we're done. So this is super fast, four, three, two, one. Now point your toe, and we're gonna bend and extend in this position. Point your toe. I want you to fight to keep the leg off the mat. You don't need to turn your knee down quite as much in this one because you're gonna feel it no matter what you do. 42, come on, point and extend. Just holding that leg there is gonna burn you. 32 seconds, try your hardest not to drop it. 27, 26, come on. Then we're on to the other side, 23, just breathe. It's lactic acid. It's just lactic acid. 18, 17, 16, 15. You can do this. I promise you. I promise you can. It's mind over matter. 10 seconds. Just keep moving. 7, 6. Then we're on the other side. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Quick transition. Other side. The back leg is up on the toe. We're going to point the toe and it's middle for two, then all the way up. Middle for two, all the way up. Middle for two, all the way up. Don't slouch in your shoulder. Your chest is to the front. Middle for two, middle for two and up. So try and point your foot kind of to the corner of your mat and up. It's not directly in line and up. Middle for two and up. We're trying to keep that knee pointing slightly down. If your leg is slightly shaking here, that's a good thing. And up. Middle for two and up. Middle for two and up. 10 seconds. And then we're going to those mini circles. Middle for two and up. Five, four, three, two, and one. So now tiny as circles. Tiniest circles. Tiny, tiny, tiny circles. Oh my goodness, keep your knee down, keep your heel up, point that toe, keep behind the knee straight, try to draw those circles. Hold your tummy in, try not to slouch. Come on, 37, you can do it, you can do it. You did it on the other side, you can do this. Just keep going, just keep moving. Make them small, make them precise. 19, 18, breathe. 17, 16, there should be shaking going on. 13, 12, 10 seconds. Then we're doing those bend, extend times three to the front and sweep it back in. Five, four, three, two, and one. So it's bend, extend times three, sweep it in. One, two, three, sweep it in. One, two, three, sweep it in. Hold your tummy in and really squeeze it as you bring that leg in. Your core is gonna help you bring that leg in again, okay? One, two, three, sweep it in. I know it's hard, but we're changing position after this one, and then it's just gonna be two more exercises. One, two, three, sweep it in. Keep your leg up, please. Do not drop it. Two, three, 20 seconds. Two, three, sweep it. One, two, three, sweep it. One, two, three, 12 seconds. It wants to slow down, don't let it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, bring it in line. The other leg comes in front. You can come all the way down, flex your foot, heel is up and just lift. Lift and tap. You can tap your toes down and then just lift 
And if you find this position, I should have said this on the other side, if you find this position a bit weird, then maybe just put your leg down like this. That's an option. Or you can even remain in that position where the leg is at the back, like before. That's also an option. So try to just peel that leg off. It doesn't want to move. It hardly wants to come up, but just try for another 20 seconds. And then we're moving to the last exercise. 14, 13, come on. You can do this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now point your toe, deep breath in, bend, extend, bend, extend. That's all you're doing here, that's all. If you want to be up here, you can. Bend, extend, bend, extend. Keep your kneecap to the front and just go for it because this is the finale, the grand finale. 38, come on. Try, try not to put that leg down. It wants to drop so bad. Extend hard to the point where you've got a super straight leg. 25, that's what's really stretching that inner thigh. 20 seconds. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 12. You can do this, mind over matter, 9, 8, 7. Breathe, 6, 5, close your eyes if you need to. 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh my goodness, congratulations. You did it. Let's take this off and stretch it out. Ah, that was not easy. But we got there. We got there in the end. So lie back down. We're just going to stretch this out. Your legs are up and just open and close the legs. Open and close the legs. So even this right here should kind of feel pretty difficult. Now just in and out, in and out, with your legs down here, just letting that kind of open and relax, in and out, in and out. Now grab onto your heels if you can, and flex your feet and kind of rock side to side. Take a deep breath. You got a bit of hip flexor work there as well, which is always a bonus. Now just stretch your hamstring up. Everything's attached in your lower body. You can't really isolate anything as such because everything else is gonna work in that same area. But we did predominantly do inner thighs. Now if you want to and you can, just open out to the side and back in. Opening that up. And then switch it up and other leg. Nice hamstring stretch. And then out to the side. And you can just bend and extend slightly here. Hold it wherever you want. You can hold it at the calf, at the ankle, on your foot. Bring that back up and help yourself up. And then just bring the soles of your feet together. Open that out. Press down a little bit. And this whole workout would still have been super effective without ankle weights. So well done if you use them. And super well done if you used heavier ones than me. And then just over and over and over and over and you are done. Thanks so much for joining me with my inner thigh burnout, target 20 inner thighs. I'll see you at the next segment.